everyone. Let's talk sustainable fashion, sustainable shopping, how to buy things that you're actually going to wear and how to stop buying things that you're never gonna wear. Fast fashion has just been on the rise recently, especially with uh, websites like Shein. And of course, I'm guilty of buying from fast fashion for sure but I have been making more of an effort to be sustainable within my shopping. It's also just very budget friendly. Um, I am still learning in sustainability and learning more about that, so definitely a growing process for me for sure. I still shop fast fashion, but I feel like there are just small changes everyone can make, and these are some of the changes I'm making. Also, shop on a budget, look nice on a budget, everything like that. One thing also about buying all these like really cheap micro trends is that they are trends, they're micro trends and they go in and out. You buy something that's cute, fast fashion, it's a micro trend. Fast forward a few months later and all of a sudden it's out of style. So you have to get rid of it and buy something else that's also cheap and also in style or whatever. So that cycle of like buying and just trashing or whatever, I'm seeing like so much Shein at Goodwill. I understand also the concept of affordability, just how do we make that more affordable? One thing for me is I love to shop. I love to thrift shop. I think I've, I've, you know, I've made several videos on just thrifting and things I find thrifting and I love it. You can basically find anything, like anything at the thrift store. Um, you just have to look. And it's kind of fun too, because it's like one, you find something that's unique that other people don't have really, because it is, it is vintage, it is, it's cool, it's also just affordable. I feel like giving these clothes a second home. Shopping at the consignment stores, thrift stores, all of that, amazing. One thing that has made a huge difference for me in trying to find my style, I think I'm still in the process of doing that for sure, but I love just getting inspiration. I'm not someone who can be super creative and come up with stuff. Like I have to look at what other people have done and have that inspire me. So I love looking on Pinterest. I totally recommend Pinterest because it's like, it can very much like the algorithm curates to you and curates to your style. And if you like one thing, it'll show you like 10 other things that fit that same vibe or what other people have liked. So Pinterest is amazing for that. I have a mood board just called like Style Inspo and I just put for every season, I'll do like spring, summer, fall, winter, different outfits that I like and also outfits that make sense in my life. Wear whatever you want. I think like dress up, do whatever, dress, overdress, underdress, wear whatever you like. I can't be buying all these evening dresses when I don't really go out at night that much, but I mean, you know, who cares? Wear what you want, wear it in the day. Uh, but for me, comfortability, I like to wear comfortable outfits. I don't like a lot of color. I'm dressed pretty casual. Um, so I like dresses and I like basically like nice jeans and like basic tops. That's like pretty much my style at the moment, at this point in my life. And I have like my work outfits, of course, like a little bit dressier. So that's that obviously curate and find outfits and put them onto my board on my Pinterest board. And when you kind of look out, you kind of zoom out and look at what you've pinned, you see that you've created a vibe and that is specific to you and special about you. So that is your style, that's your vibe. That's kind of where my starting point is when I'm trying to curate a closet that I love, that uh, means a lot to me. I can rewear all these pieces. I try to choose, you know, choose a color scheme. Um, for me, I just like neutrals and I like, if I do like colors, sometimes I like red or light blue or something. You could also, go off of your color season as well. That's a whole other thing. I'm not well versed in the color seasonal analysis stuff. Um, I think I'm a autumn, a dark autumn, not entirely sure, but just looking at other girls who have like a similar complexion and hair color to me, that I think that's what I am. So going off of that, I look good in like more like autumn-y colors, like maroon, anything like deeper oranges or um, brown over black. So it's just things like that finding your style, also curating that, but doing it within a color scheme is so helpful and kind of helps you narrow down so you're not buying like all this crazy stuff that doesn't match. I think also basics are amazing to invest in. Something that you can constantly rewear, but it's also good quality. And I don't think everyone needs a white t-shirt necessarily. I think basics are going to be specific to you. So there's not really like basics that go for everyone. I feel like I 
I like the white t-shirt, but I don't like the boxy ones. I like like a fitted, nice, like good 100% cotton white t-shirt. I like the like the Skims everyday tea or whatever. I like different types of teas, but those are specific to me. I think everyone else has their own basics. Some people it's like really, really basic, like a little black dress or something like that. But some people, it's just specific to them, like long skirts, um, lots of denim, whatever is your style. Those are the kind of basics that you want to invest in and maybe spending more money up front and if you know it's something that you're going to love and it's going to last longer because you got good quality. So that's another thing, buying things that are of good quality when you can. And I say that because of course sometimes quality is expensive. It doesn't have to always be, but a lot of times it is. Sticking to things like natural fibers, so wool, silk, cashmere, 100% um, cotton, things like that. Natural fibers, those are going to last way longer than synthetic fibers and kind of stuff that fast fashion brands use. And they're also just better and, and more well-made. I know Brandy Melville is controversial right now, but they do have good basics that are affordable like the price point has never changed they're really affordable compared to what people are selling now and they're like 100 percent cotton and all that but they are one size so it's like you know but i'm just giving an example i think brandy mobile has like a great affordable basics keeping in mind the kind of shopping you're doing um when you're shopping basically when you're shopping don't shop like do a haul like i feel like the haul is that's like that's a beauty guru thing. I don't know, people do that. But I feel like really, I think buy a few pieces at a time that you really want and that add to your style and add to your closet and really mean a lot to you. Don't just buy a bunch at one time just because that's a haul or for the purpose of the haul or whatever. I feel like just over time buying a few items and things that you love, that's just more important, more special. Especially don't buy things just because they're on sale. You buy something just because it's on sale, you don't actually love that thing. You just think that you want it. So what I like to do is I will save stuff in my little wish list in my camera roll. And when it does go on sale, then I'll buy it, but it's something I already wanted and it's on my wish list. So it's like not a big deal. Uh, and I was gonna buy it anyways. So if it's on sale, that's even better for me. <laughs> One other thing when shopping is thinking about like the maintenance, like do you want high maintenance clothes? So for me, I do not like ironing and I've made the mistake and bought clothes that need a lot of ironing and then I end up like not even wearing them. Like I have some things in my closet that I don't wear because I hate ironing. So um, it's just things like that or things that if you don't like wearing super tight, uncomfortable clothes, don't buy tight, uncomfortable clothes just because you think it's cute. Like buy things you know that you're gonna be comfortable with and that you're gonna wear and use every day. I think another big point is something that I still need to learn and that I'm working on, I swear. Buying clothes that actually fit and keeping clothes that actually fit. So. I'm growing, I'm, I'm changing, and I definitely gained weight, lose weight, your body's fluctuating, whatever. But there was a time where I was like a size, you know, double zero or something, and I still have some of those, well, not anymore, but I did have those clothes in my closet for such a long time, and I was holding on to them thinking like, oh, you know, I'll be a size zero again one day. I just don't think that's gonna happen, and if it did happen, I feel like, I just, I don't think that would be like healthy I, for me. That doesn't really make sense for my body shape and all of that right now. So I don't, like that'll never be me again. And that's not also, that's again, that would be an unhealthy version of myself that I don't want. So got rid of those. It's kind of, it's sad, you know, but it is what it is. And love your body now. Like buy clothes that you feel good in now that are your size, that make you feel so comfortable and confident. It's really not about your body, it's about wearing it with confidence and I've made the mistake, I can't stuff myself into tight jeans, I don't even feel cute in them anymore, like the size doesn't even matter, I just feel like a, a stuffed sausage and it doesn't make me feel good. Working towards sustainability, buying quality pieces, buying pieces you wear all the time, it's a slow process, it's not quick, it's not overnight and that's okay and that's the good thing about it is it takes time and you live your life and it's not stressful. Shopping with that mindfulness is so important and I feel like everyone could change a little bit. It doesn't have to be everything, but I feel like everyone can make a difference if we all did that. It's just better for ourselves and the environment. Once you do get those clothes, even if you can't afford to buy 
better clothes i feel like taking care of the clothes that you own now um even if they are affordable like this okay an example i bought this from target for like 15 dollars five i don't a while ago because i was in i think i was in college or high school i don't know but i've had this tank top it's like a plain black tank top there's so much noise going on outside. I don't know what that is. Maybe five years. I mean, more than that. And I've kept good care of it. And it's still holding on, even though it is fast fashion, right? But you buy fast fashion, that's fine. But you take care of your clothes and you can wear them for a long time. Like, this thing has been going strong. I love this tank top. And I just want to keep it forever as long as it holds itself together. I, um, what I do kind of to preserve the life of my clothes is I, I basically don't dry anything. I wash things on like a gentle cycle and then sometimes I'll do hand washing um, with, in like a tub with like a special hand washing soap or whatever for some of my clothes. But for things like this, I'll wash it on the gentle cycle using cold water. I use like gentle detergent. I don't use the scent beads because those will kind of get like that build up on your clothes. And then I'll just air dry it. And that's what I've done the entire time I've had this tank top and it's it's holding up. It's raining, that's why. There's a, It's always raining every time I'm filming, I swear. Okay, well I'm gonna wrap this up since it's starting to pour rain. I don't wanna irritate everyone with the noise. That's really it. I just felt passionate about it and it's something I'm looking into. And again, I'm not perfect, I definitely still shop fast fashion i'm just trying to make a more conscious effort to work towards sustainability and not add to the waste that's going on and i totally totally understand you know shopping and wanting to have things that are affordable and cheap i totally get that that's all i'm just there's nothing wrong with that i was just you know something i'm doing is trying to be more conscious about it and there's just a lot of ways to go about it. Anyways, I will stop talking now and annoying everyone, but I do appreciate if you made it this far and thank you so much for watching. Check out my other videos and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.